I am friggin' dehydrated, dried out, wore out. All right, I'm packed back up. Took me about 30 minutes. Here we go. Car lights are on. Getting late. In my mind's eye, I saw this all working out more smoothly than this. And there's the kind of shelter that keeps the sun off of you. And it catches a lot of water. In fact, it can be quite a water collection device. Um, I don't know if that's an easy up brand or a first up from Walmart or what. But uh, you can't leave these out in the rain. Um, I've been to events where there's, you know, a hundred of them at the event and 10 or 20 percent of them will collapse after a night of rain. They just start puddling and the puddle stretches the, can the cover down and gets heavier and heavier until it breaks. Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay there will be trouble. Here's a place that would be an opportunity. Except there's men in there working late. Back there behind that, uh, they got a little uh, picnic area, container back there. It's grass behind the building. Maybe on a Saturday night. Well, I'm almost to a place where, that I saw, I was just kind of driving and scouting the possibility of this get home challenge. And I didn't get out and look at it, but it looks like it could be good. So we'll check it out. The back of this building could be a really great place, except for there's a house on the right side of the building. And it's a little crackety looking, uh, but there's somebody living there. And they would be able to see you out their windows. So, uh, this is a no-go. Can you see the rain coming? I sure can. Wow. Looks like a very light sprinkle. I think I'm just going to weather it out. I can just barely feel it. It's not supposed to rain tonight. Well, you just never know, do you? I had a nice conversation with him. His name's David, same as me. His dog's name is Dodge. Very well behaved. I think I'm coming up on my maybe spot. Kind of backtrack a little bit. I got so distracted talking to that guy. This isn't looking good now that I'm here. I thought this had a... I saw this chain. And I thought maybe there was an open lane there. Going back to the left. Ooh. I guess I could go back there. Tramp down some weeds. That would put me around the corner. Or it can't be seen. Wow. If I don't camp here, I don't think I can camp anywhere. I might have to call the trip.
be nice be nice to tuck back up in there but it's too exposed well let's go look back here Hmm. Three leaves, a bunch of poison ivy. Now well, let's go look back in here and see what's here. I think I'm going to regret wearing shorts on this expedition. Pretty rough bottom. City property, and there's a dump on it, of course. Oh. I wonder where this lane goes completely. Not sure how far I want to go. Not seeing any mowed grass or a fire ring. I'm beginning to think to do a trip like this, you need to scout it out and prepare sites in advance. Surprise, there's this much land in Huber Heights without a house on it. Those red spikes are trying to tell me something, aren't they?
Let's find our way clear around that hateful looking bush. This isn't somebody's backyard. Wish I was a horse and could smell water. Doctor, there's been a big vehicle back here this year. Nothing limbs. This is probably somebody's backyard. Sure don't see any houses, roof lines. Don't see nothing. This is as good as it gets, folks. I'm going to trample this area down and set up my tent. Set up. Tent's not looking too good. I am friggin' dehydrated, dried out, wore out. I need some water and I need some energy. Water is a serious problem. You can't carry enough water. <laughs>